Hey guys, this video is just going to kind of be talking about the different teachers at Hogwarts. Um, I think my two favorite teachers at Hogwarts are probably Remus and McGonagall because I feel like, I don't know, I mean Remus is one of my favorite characters so of course I'm going to choose him, but I do think out of all the Defense Against the Dark art te Arts teachers they have, he's one of the most like effective at teaching them things. and. Uh, Moody does too a bit, but he's not the real Moody, and all of that, so I don't know if I'd really, like, count him. And then Snape kind of teaches them stuff, I guess, but I don't really like Snape that much. So, um, yeah, and then I love McGonagall so much. I mean, as a little kid, when I first started reading Harry Potter, I really didn't think about McGonagall all that much. To be completely honest, McGonagall reminds me of a teacher that I had in elementary school where she was really strict and before I had her I was kind of scared to go into her class because um, I'd heard all these stories about how strict she was. I was in her class, you know, you kind of got used to her but she was still, like, you saw her as really strict and she gave, I thought she gave us a lot of homework looking back on it now that I'm in high school it really wasn't that much but then once you left her class um, she is now like one of my favorite teachers ever but I didn't really realize that until after I had left her class and McGonagall reminds me a lot of her because she's a strict teacher and she doesn't let Harry, Ron, Hermione get away with stuff but she does care about them and you can definitely tell about that in Deathly Hallows and so I just love McGonagall so much. I also love Hagrid, but you do have to admit that he's not like the greatest teacher ever. I mean, I love him, but I don't think he was cut out to be a teacher. Then you have Flitwick and Sprout, the two other heads of houses. And I like both of them. I do really like both Flitwick and Sprout. I like them both, but I don't feel like they do anything like really significant. I mean, they help in the final battle and everything, but they don't really, like, stick out in my mind. And I think that's because you really see more of McGonagall and the Defense Against the Dark Arts teachers and Snape and all them play a lot bigger role than Flitwick and Sprout do, because I think Flitwick and Sprout would be, like, the only teachers that they have from the first book, because you have, like, the teachers that come in. I don't know how to explain it, but you know, like the arithmetic teacher and Trelawney. It just seems like, even though Flitwick and Sprout are there from the first book, there's so many other teachers that play bigger roles in the events of the book than they do. I mean, so I like Flitwick and Sprout, but they're not really like, they don't leave much of an impression on you when you're reading the books, if any of that makes sense. I am not a really big Snape fan. Um, I feel like a lot of people are going to hate me for saying that, but I just, I mean, I feel sorry for him after Deathly Hallows. I really do. But that doesn't change the fact that he is still so mean to Harry throughout the whole entire books and does definitely favor the Slytherins, which he shouldn't do. And he just does so much stuff that Annoy me, annoys me to no end that I don't think is just suddenly forgivable because of what he went through. And I know a lot of people agree with me on this and then there are some people that just like absolutely love Snape and think he does no wrong. And I'm not saying that's like the majority of people or anything. But I just, I feel bad for Snape but I still don't like him even though we learned all of that stuff about him. He still did a lot of stuff that just I don't think is unforgivable, or I just don't think is forgivable. He should not have treated Harry how he treated Harry. And I know in the end he helped Harry and everything, but just because Harry was James and Lily's son and he hated James and was in love with Lily does not mean he should have treated Harry like crap and immediately judged Harry, and it just gets on my nerves. Slughorn also annoys me because, I mean, the whole slug club thing and choosing favorites and trying to, like, get them to do you favors later, I cannot stand that and that really does annoy me. Um, so I am definitely not a fan of Slughorn at all. From the time he came in during the sixth book, like, 
the first scene when you can he, I just I don't like him at all I don't like the idea of creating a club I don't even know how he could have gotten away with that because if I had been Dumbledore and been in charge of the school I would not be letting one of my teachers create a club of my favorite students um, I just I just don't feel like that's something right and I don't think he should have been able to get away with that. I don't understand why they would let him do that and it really does annoy me. My two least favorite teachers would probably be Umbridge and Lockhart because I find them the most annoying. Umbridge, she's just like downright evil basically and I cannot stand her. Um, I don't think there is anyone who can stand her. And then Lockhart I find Slughorn annoying and Snape annoying, but Lockhart is just one of my biggest pet peeves is people who are really arrogant, and Lockhart definitely fits that. Um, I just, I don't know, Umbridge and, Lo Umbridge and Lockhart are probably the two professors that piss me off the most because I cannot stand either one of them at all. I, whenever I read the books and scenes they're in, I just like want to strangle them. <laughs> I don't do that when I read scenes with like Slughorn and Snape, even though they like slightly annoy me. When, but it's nothing compared to when I'm reading scenes with Umbridge and Lockhart, and I can just hate them so much. I think I've mentioned like every single Hogwarts professor in this video, other than Ben's, but there's really nothing to say about Ben's. I mean, it's, who wouldn't want to be taught by a ghost? That'd be pretty cool. I would not turn down having a ghost teacher. But he doesn't really do anything, ever. I don't think, do we even see Ben's other than like in the History of Magic classroom teaching? I don't think we do. I don't think you ever see him at any other point in time. I can't think, there's the astronomy professor whose name I cannot remember. Trelawney. Trelawney annoys me a bit, but not that much. I mean, I don't really care about her, but she doesn't, like, annoy me. She's definitely important to the plot because she said the prophecy, or the two prophecies, whatever. But I'm just kind of, like, indifferent to her as a character. So, yeah, that was my rant about Hogwarts professors. I will see you guys later. Bye.